Hi, this is Verma. There are many different ways you can use a laser or milling machine and build a great business. We will gladly share them with you so you could have more possibilities to create your ideas on CNC machines. In this video, we'll show you the entire process of creating a table light using Watson machines that any beginner can handle. Subscribe to our channel not to miss the next videos about business ideas built on CNC laser or milling machines. Let's start the process. First, we find the layout to be cut. Then we run the program file in Corel Draw. If you want to create such a table lamp with us, you will find a ready-made layout in the description under the video. Don't forget to like it. We are doing our best especially for you. In our case, the parts are made on two different CNC machines, so we will use several programs – Corel Draw, ArtCam and RDWorks. We will make the support for the lamp with a Watson 0609 mini router and we will make the top part of the lamp with a Watson 0503 laser. These are compact table machines which do not take up much space. You can put them in the garage and not have to worry about where to find room for two machines. They are also good for those who are just starting their business. Back to the layout. We export the layout of the part that will be made on the CNC milling machine into the ArtCam program. In this program, we set cutting process and make the layout ready to work on the milling machine. We will make the base for the table lamp out of glued oak. So we are going to use a 4mm single turn cutter with the chip down. Secure the material with the T-clamps. Watson machines have special rails for T-clamps. You can watch the Watson 0609 milling machine work endlessly. Stop waste time. Let's deal with the upper part of our light fixture. Open the file for cutting on the laser machine in RD Works. Choose the right setting for cutting. In the example, used 6mm plexiglass. So in the settings we put power 20, speed 15 and run the process. The Watson CNC machines have a truncated nozzle with a reduced cross-sectional area. For better cutting, use truncated nozzle. You simply set the airflow to the minimum so that the products of combustion aren't forced downward. Another important detail in our product is the lamp base cover. We will cut it with a laser from 3 to 4 mm plywood. In the settings to work, we set the power 85, speed 15. In the video, we cut out the base on the honeycomb table. It is included with the machine, but it is better to cut out such parts using the lamellar table. Watson CNC machines have anodized lamellae, so that on the back side of the cutting and engraving doesn't bounce off pieces of material. All parts are ready. Let's assemble the table lamp. To do this, we glue the lead strip to the base of the lamp, run the wires, insert the plexiglass in the slot and plug our lamp in the socket. Done! Now we have a very cute table lamp that is sure to cheer you up. If you have any suggestions on how to improve such a lamp or product ideas that you would like to see in the next video, definitely write in the comments. We'd love to read them and listen to you. Also, give us your likes and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss new videos. Verma was with you. See you again.